Greetings comic book fans, welcome once again to the Dude Cave, I'm Jason and you are watching Comic Call Weekly, my weekly video where I share with you the new comics I've picked up this week. Um, it was it was a kind of a medium haul again this week, 16 books, I don't know where or when 16 books became a medium haul, that, that just seems crazy, um, but I've read some of them already so I'm whizzing through these, so that should mean my review should be up Monday, no problems. Um, so yeah, the first of these books I've read, so I'll kind of briefly say what I think, but I won't do full review because that's going to come up on Monday. Um, no 2000 AD this week, 2000 AD this week. Um, I'm way behind with it, and at the moment I'm kind of trying to decide, would it been a weekly, should I stick with it and catch up, or should I just drop it? Um, I do enjoy 2000 AD, and I have really been enjoying it. It, it's just when you get behind it, it's tricky because it's every week so it's diff more difficult to get up to date anyway so we're going to kick things off with DC uh, we have DC Universe uh, the Rebirth books coming out this week and we have issue number 957 go back to the old numbering of Action Comics I really enjoyed this um, the basic gist of the story Superman is dead Lex Luthor steps up as Metropolis's new guardian um, our Superman from an, from another Earth, he knows from his Earth what um, what Lex Luthor was was like, and he don't feel he doesn't feel that Lex Luthor is an adequate guardian for Metropolis. So he reveals himself to the world, uh, and then Doomsday turns up. A uh, really good book, really good issue. There's just one moment because like uh, with Superman where he's shaving and he uses a. Uh, uh, a piece of glass and he uses his vision into the glass and it shaves his face his, um, and then we build this brilliant reveal of him flying to Metropolis to, to confront Alex Luthor really good issue, sets the series really well uh, and I'm very intrigued to see where this is going to go um, if it's going to be kind of like a rematch between Doomsday and Superman that should be really good uh, and maybe this would be the story where Superman has to team up with Luthor to defeat Doomsday, and maybe Luthor kind of begrudgingly wins a bit of his trust. But um, yeah, really enjoyed this. Really good. We then have Detective Comics, issue number 934. Uh, going into this, I really like the cast of characters that they were using in this. Many are my favourite Batman characters, but I was a bit unsure with the writer. Um, I think James Tenyon IV is a good writer. I just find that he's never consistent. I think he has good ideas and he does good stuff, but I find when reading a series by him, he doesn't have that consistency yet. And maybe that just comes down to experience, because he's still quite a new writer. Um, and maybe as years go by, he'll get that consistency. So I was a bit surprised when they put him on Detective Comics, considering he hasn't had a series that's really excelled yet, or continuously. Um, but I thought this was a very strong uh, first issue from him. Um, I enjoyed the art as well, I liked the cast of characters like I say, but I liked how they were brought together and it's a very different kind of feeling Batman book, so I enjoyed that. It was a pleasant surprise. Next up we have Flash Rebirth issue number one, I read this one as well, brilliant book, really enjoyed it, really loving what they're doing with Flash. If you've read DC Universe and you kind of, you, you want to start seeing what happens next, this is a great book to try, but also I love how it really sets up the series well and does everything I want a Rebirth book to do. Uh, speaking about everything I want a Rebirth to, book to do, Wonder Woman Rebirth issue number one, this was another brilliant issue. I really enjoyed this, seeing through the book her journey and to uh, questioning her history. Um, I thought this was just phenomenal and really, really, really sets up the series well. Uh, with another book I've read is Birthright. And this gets back into the story as it, Sam Mayal was revealed last issue as being Mikey and Brennan's grandfather. So we're kind of dealing with all the fallout for that. The Margies are still trying to find um, the Margies are still trying to find Mikey. So that takes an interest in turn as we're introduced into a new Marge. Um, I really enjoyed this. The story moves along really quickly and you know sets up this series really well. Where we're going to go next with the issues. Um, really enjoyed this really great stuff and uh, yeah another really strong issue from birthright we have invisible republic issue number 10 going into this book i had completely forgotten what had happened in the previous nine issues well not everything but i'd kind of forgotten where we'd left off the book you know thankfully like uh, it's one of those books that does give you like a recap 
Um, we've kind of still got our story in the past, story in the present. Both stories are really interesting right now, and I'm really intrigued to see where both are going. And yeah, I, I once again I enjoyed that. We then have these are the books now I haven't read yet. We got Renato Jones, The One Percent. Really enjoyed the first issue. It's like if Punisher and Batman got together and had a love child. This is what the love child would be. Yeah, he's rich. Yeah, he's one of the one percent. But he's also been the whole vigilante thing, taking down the corrupt one percent. So yeah, I really enjoyed enjoyed this. Looking forward to getting the second issue. The other thing about this, it's Kyle, a uh, car, Kyle Andrews, and he does everything on this book. He draws it, he inks it, he colors it, he you know he writes it. Everything is, and it's really interesting seeing a book that is just like one unified vision. So I think that 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 excites me as well. Uh, we're then moving into Marvel now. We have all new X Men issue number ten. Uh, this is their uh, all new X Men part of the Apocalypse War, which seem to be three separate stories: um, a kid apocalypse, and I think it was Beast, young Beast. They have ended up in ancient Egypt and uh, Kid Apocalypse has met the younger version of him, uh, Apocalypse so that it'd be very interesting to see where we're going to go next with that we then have Daredevil issue number 8 surprisingly the Electra story is finished and we kick off a brand new story here I think it was only like two issues which was a real surprise that that story was over and done so quick uh, but this kicks off a new story it says here called Blind Man's Buff and I definitely felt last issue was Charles Soule's strongest uh, issue of this series thus far so hopefully he keeps up the good work on this we then have Deadpool and the Mercs for Money issue number 5 this is the final issue of the mini series that this is going to become an ongoing um, I, I felt last issue was the strongest issue of the series thus far so I hope they're going to keep on that vein um, as we wrap up this story which I you know I think there hasn't been enough story for the mini series there and it's going to be interesting what they're going to do when it becomes an ongoing uh, we then have Star Wars Dark Vader, issue number 21. Uh, four issues left, and this is going to finish. Looks like we might be catching up with Dr. Alpha, which would be really cool seeing her catch up with Vader again. We then have Star Wars Poe Dameron, issue number 3, um, which I'm looking forward to reading that. Um, I'm hoping... Second issue seems like they slowed down the momentum a bit, so I'm, I'm hoping we're going to get back, really back into a strong story here. A book I'm super excited for is The Vision issue number eight uh, Tom King has been knocking it out of the park and, and Walder's art as well is just brilliant totally unique and different book to anything else out there but at the same time it's just all kinds of excellent really enjoying this uh, and that will probably be the last book I read this week because I always like to leave one book I'm looking forward to to the end so that hopefully I end the week on a positive note you know I don't want to kind of have the books I'm looking forward to least and then maybe it's a sour book that I end it on I, I kind of like to end my comic book reading week on a positive note next up we have the 11th Doctor um, issue see, year 2 issue number 10 like issue 10's this week um, the, it's interesting how the Doctor Who books are doing different things which I like uh, with this Doctor we've got just one story carrying on all the way through it and um, I haven't really enjoyed this I think this has been the weakest of the Doctor Who books however last issue they started decluttering the TARDIS and things started to pick up again so I'm hoping we're going to keep in that vein um, then next up we have Valiant and it is 4001 AD Bloodshot this is a, a one shot uh, that's kind of tied into 4001 AD which is their common event um, and it's just going to show you uh, is there a bloodshot in this world and kind of maybe a story with bloodshot that links him into 4001 AD so it'd be interesting what they do with that and then we've got Ninja issue 15 super enjoying this series it's been really really good um, somebody's out to destroy Ninja uh, his life has been destroyed he's been set up he's had his home destroyed he's had all his resources taken and stuff somebody's really gunning for him and I think was it the Shadow 7 that he kind of found were behind this and he's trying to uncover who these deep people are uh, and why why do they want to take Ninja down but this has been brilliant and the backup as well is really tying in uh, to more of his history so yeah I'm this has just been super super strong for this current arc and this should be the penultimate ultimate issue of the arc because usually that they only run for four issues so so we should start winding that up a bit which is one good thing about Valix those four issue arcs go really quickly and there's never any space for kind of just you know 
enough for it to be happening. That every issue is kind of um, loads happening. So that's me done for another week um, with my comic haul. I will be back on Monday with a review video as you get through the rest of these books. Um, thank you very much for, for watching my video. Really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, give me please give me those beautiful thumbs up so I know you're enjoying what I'm doing. Um, I've already said I'll, I will be back on Monday. Um, all that leaves me to say now is that I've been Jason. Coming to you from the Dude Cave with Comic Haul Weekly. Keep reading and bye for now.